guys you're welcome to my video today please as you come in i just want you even if as you have not watched just type it will end in praise yes it will end in praise as you see the title and the picture on the thumbnails i don't want to come out looking shabby or crying you understand because i know god got my back yeah my son got fa uh, my son fainted so, um some days ago and we've been in the hospital <laughs> i was just laughing at the devices of the devil yes three years we've been trying to know what the problem is because it would just be like um suddenly it would just be like someone electric shock is catching like it would just be ticking. you know when you put your hand in electric that's a little shock you will have he's been doing that and i've been wondering what could it be sometimes i used to think maybe it's convulsion but you know i've seen convulsion before uh you know when we were little my brother my junior brother always have it then uh, i've seen how it is children closing their teeth it is it's not like that maybe losing consciousness totally it's not like that it would just be like his high would be up like it is high brown uh, black ball will be going up like this it will, it will seem as if he want to faint as if he lose strength but what happened this um uh, faithful evening afternoon my son suddenly he was sitting down eating the next thing i had i was facing him and i'm saying don't pour the food down you know an hyperactive uh, boy is always on the run even eating so i said dylan don't pour the food down the next thing I had is boom. I just saw him. Like if I'm facing somewhere somewhere else, I would think maybe he fell. He fell, maybe something make him to fall. But <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I just feel I saw it. My son fell like a log of wood. And I shouted, Jesus. I raised him up, calling him Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. And uh, uh you know, it's like passing out, but I just, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I thank God. I raised him up at the end of everything, tried to pull him up. I see that his strength failed him like somebody that wants to collapse. I drag him up, shouting, Dylan, Dylan, his high bob, we are going up. I became afraid and I immediately carried him and running up and down in the, you know, corridor of our um, house and shouting, help, 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 somebody should help me. Before I know, my neighbors called ambulance and we got to the um, uh, the. Uh, emergency the ambulance came we went to the emergency this time my husband was already around so we took uh, the start doing everything check his head if he has he, he, if eating his skull somewhere no it's okay because he had some uh, you know bruise here here was swollen they check everything it was okay uh, you know but it was hell <laughs> like in trying to hold the land down fixing in drip and trying to calm him down to just do the head Test. so the following day they have to do this electroshivelomography as they call it the brain test and this same, um, same brain test we've been in the hospital more than four times to do this brain test we paid two times we paid 60 60 euro the brain test did not go out the last one we went my son was like in they said you should not sleep all through the night we we were awake all through the night night vg and uh, the next day my son did not sleep he was feeling slippery but he couldn't sleep they gave him some medication to help him to sleep but what happened instead of him sleeping he got fever out of the medication uh, the sleeping uh, this thing they gave to him he started vomiting and everything <laughs> immediately they said no 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 you people should go home i say devil you have come again you are a liar i just like him okay we start uh, immediately we put him in the car this boy temperature become good and he started sleeping i told my husband oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. let's go back let's go back to this place you know men now so men are just like this i don't know but i'm not trying to take excuse for him i was because myself i was so hungry this day i was like let's go back let's go back he's sleeping let's go and do the test he's like no 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 they won't agree to do the test i if like i had a car and i was driving that time what i would have done is you turn and go back so we uh we try for the 
after that we try for the pedre uh you know the children daughter <laughs> let me not go and speak well i don't know because in uh, italy we call it pedata so we try for the children daughter to write the visit <sighs> Uh, tomorrow they will say okay uh, the one he wrote they said it's not good we have to pay like that's like this like that coronavirus came we couldn't do anything we couldn't go to the doctor they said appointment i went to the uh, appointment uh, calling the uh, uh his daughter dylan's daughter uh, he, he said go to you know go here go here go there go there go there until this very day that he was admitted even that day it was a problem do, uh, throughout the night i tried to keep him awake and after everything to god be the glory shall the test to uh, the um, exam was done and then finally after three years saw what is wrong with him uh, according to them they said it is a shock in the brain uh, you know due to his autism it's a little form of uh, epilepsy i was liking epilepsy my family does not have epilepsy my um, husband does not have epilepsy where is it coming from they said due to his hyperactiveness and you know everything uh, it's just something that is affecting the brain a little but the good news is that it has a cure this one has a cure because I, I couldn't have imagined it was it to me what i used to know as epilepsy was when somebody just fall on the floor start stretching you know vomiting from the mouth and everything I, I was wondering how can it be somebody that is just putting high up and is not even doing boom, 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 but a little shock was there I said, uh, okay, but why I was so happy is that at least <laughs> they said it's not uh, something I should worry about, that he just need to take a medication for four months and it will be gone for good. Uh, that, But what I have to make sure is that I have to make sure that I give him this medication morning and night, then it will be gone for good. I just thank God because it was not as the devil planned it to be was how it is i thank god that my mind has been telling me that this thing is there and apart before even all this thing we have been trying to do this electro shivelomography you see uh, by the grace of god you know sometimes things happen and we cry oh why is this thing happen to me, uh, happening to me but in all things we give thanks to god if this has not happened i wouldn't even have the opportunity to do this electro shivelomography in this all this coronavirus thing i just i i just thank god i just thank god that at last after three years this thing was was like we could do it and i could know what is wrong with my son but i know that's why i told you when you first enter just help me to turn uh, to type it will all end in praise you see why i said it will all end in praise i know the devil is a liar these devices are the devices of the devil to pull me down but why would i be pulled down that's why i came here today well dressed with my new hair trying to tell the devil you cannot pull me down because i know who i have i have jesus so therefore i have no shaking all this thing you are doing is just uh, it is nothing i'm dusting it off so i want to encourage someone out there you think you are passing through the worst you think god has forsaken you three good years have been worried anytime this my son have this shock but just a day and I, I was not even prepared i was wondering what happened to my son i was like god oh god oh this time but god showed up at the end of it all i just wanted to thank god i just want to say thank you jesus and for me it's a testimony someone may not even you may not understand for me, it's a testimony. You may say, ah, what is, uh, you know, you just had this news. Yes, it's a news, but I know it's the devices of the devil. The, the, what the plan of God for me, for my son, is of good and not of evil. So why am I worried of the devices of the devil? So that's why I'm out here to thank God and to share with you. Because I know what God cannot do does not exist. There is. So we are back from the hospital. My son is doing good and taking his medication. By God's grace, within four months, we'll be done with it. And 
the the uh, uh the epilepsy that want to come we we'll go back into the bottomless pit because that is uh where it belongs not in my son's body so i'm very happy to announce this uh, to you some uh some of my friends called me while we uh, i was almost at the hospital i'm giving a shout out to my sister mommy's cooking kitchen i will leave her name here down below and uh, you know everyone that had about it both you that did not hear about it do you know i i just want to say thank you for being here and typing it to all hand in praise so see you guys next time on another video bye bye do take care of yourself and never you worry so much just take it to the lord in prayer see you on my next video bye bye and a big kiss from me bye bye